Welcome back to another walkthrough by Blind Man. And today, for y'all, I've got the Tomb Raider reboot, or Tomb Raider 2013, or whatever you want to call it. This is a game I've wanted to play for about three or four years. Probably four by now. I can't remember exactly when it came out. I know in 2013. And I've been really wanting to play this for a while. Just a few things have put me off. And now I'm finally going to be playing this game, so that should be pretty sweet. Enjoy my cycling through the options menu and everything. This opening is going to be a little bit long. That's because I'm actually going to be pretty quiet during this video. There are a lot of cutscenes and dialogue, and I don't want to talk over very much of that if I can help it. The game will have prompts explaining what to do in certain situations, so I don't really need to explain too much about that until we get to some of the puzzles. And if you're looking for a guide, this LP won't be the best one for that. I'm going to try to, since this commentary is in post, explain things as I go, things that I learn. A lot, actually pretty much every LP I've ever seen posted of this game, they're all first time playthroughs and of course live commentary, so it's, you know, you get everything that you get when it goes along with something like that. At least I'm doing commentary and posts, so I should be able to mention anything I learn or show anything I find. I'm going to miss a lot of secrets in this video. I'll try to go back, hopefully by video 3 or 4, I'll be able to go back and get a file that I missed. I did play a little bit of this already once. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with this lovely, lovely game. I've never played a Tomb Raider game before, so this should be interesting. A famous explorer once said that the extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are. No one said that. I finally set out to make my mark, to find adventure. But instead, adventure found me. moments when life flashes before us we find something something that keeps us going something that pushes us
get down. I can't tell you this. Get used to Lara telling you what you need to do because she's going to do that a lot. And this would not work. Yeah, Lara, try and be more quiet. God. This is the first game I've ever played with some sort of a torch mechanic, except for maybe Soul Reaver, but it wasn't like this. It's pretty interesting. That big of a deal, Lara. There's fire right there. God. All oh, right, we're at the puzzle section of the game. It's pretty obvious. Burn that. It's gonna open this up. There's a lot of atmosphere. I'm trying not to talk over. Too. But at times, I'm not going to go out. This is such a beautiful game, and an ugly one at the same time, given how dirty everything is. I've heard arguments that God of War 3 might be the best graphics of a PS3 game, but I don't know. This game looks pretty amazing too. I I don't know, which do you think, God of War 3 or this? Oh yeah. Honestly, I kind of think this looks better. Like, God of War 3 looks really good too. I'm not shitting on that game at all, but... This game looks pretty amazing. So like before, there are a couple things we got to set on fire here. I walked around for a little bit. There's something down here we need to set on fire as well. It knocks something into the water. I hope I showed that and I didn't accidentally cut that. The third thing that you're supposed to set on fire. 
Oh, maybe we jump up here to activate it and then we come down here to so. There it is. Okay. I see what's happening now. More stuff I should have cut, basically. Sorry about that. Now we jump up here and it lifts this up. That's going to set that on fire. If anybody's visually impaired playing this game and they need help with the quick time buttons, if you're playing it on a PS3, I would be happy to help you, so just post a comment and I'll be happy to do the best I can to try to help. If it's been a couple years, I may not be able to, but anytime recently. I'll still try either way. Oh, Jesus. I've got to get out of here. Yes, Laura, we know. She's going to have this nasty habit throughout this game and the next of staying the obvious. a pretty cool tutorial section. When I first played this, I survived everything. Well, all of this without dying. Of course, when I went to report it, that was another story, but I think one only died here once. I missed a jump, not that one, but the next one. Somehow I missed that. Well, I almost missed it there. Damn it. Laura, you're a murderer now. If you're happy. Of course, he would have killed you. One of the next things we have to do, I also survived my first time playing and then put out a recording, of course, died once doing it. This game has a lot of quick time events. At least they don't seem randomized like God of War. I died once doing this, so that's not too bad for somebody who can't see very well. I do plan on doing Rise of the Tomb Raider. First time I was playing this, I thought I had to jump over there and I kept dying repeatedly. Yeah, don't jump over there. Unless, unless you want to kill Lara, then go ahead. The lifeboat. Where are they? They must have gone inland. such a different game from the other Tomb Raider games, which I've never played. In some ways I like it because this is something I'm actually willing to try, but in other ways I kind of don't because it kind of seems like they should have stuck to their formula. I mean, there was something to respect about the type of games those were. Okay, take it slow. Yeah, we just basically have to balance here. You can actually move a lot faster than this without this being as dramatic. But since this is our first time doing it, it's got to be overly dramatic. The good thing with all this dialogue, it gives me time to drink. Okay. I want to try to be hammered by the time I do the second video.
I always think whenever they're going to make a vastly different game, they might as well just make it a different game and not have it be a continuation of the series. Although this is a reboot. I mean, I would never play the older Tomb Raider games, but I respect the, that franchise. Okay, Laura. You better, or yeah, be sure to hit the button prompt there, or you're fucked. I found that out my first time. So playing this, I don't know. I don't really feel like I'm playing a Tomb Raider game. Come on, come on. And I'm saying all this not to rant or anything. This game so far seems pretty fun. It looks amazing. Even if a lot of times it does seem like Lara Croft torture porn. But that's okay. I like porn. Not really torture, but you know. long enough for me to take another sip of my drink. There are some totem things you can shoot in here once you get a weapon. One of them is actually in this area that we're in right now. You'll have to backtrack to get it. It's not that far out of the way, but I don't get any of them. If somebody wants me to get those, then I'll come back for them too. I'm having trouble getting her. She just needs to go a little bit to the left, but I can't get her to move right for some reason. I just have trouble here. And then I end up trying to stare at her ass, and it's just... I'm not going to be like a lot of people. I'm not really going to comment too much on Laura's looks.
Here's the soon-to-be world-famous archaeologist, Lara Croft, in her native habitat. She's on the hunt for the lost kingdom of Yamatai, home to the fabulous Himiko, mythical sun queen, and ancestor of yours truly. <laughs> Sam, this is serious. Oh, sweetie, I know. I'm just trying to lighten the mood here. Everyone's so on edge. What are you so worried about? I'm close to something. I'm sure of it. I just don't know if the others will listen. Or even if they should. Lara, you know this stuff better than anyone. Seriously, I'm not just saying this to make you feel better. I trust you, Roth trusts you. You got this. Now let's take a break, okay? Okay, okay. And Sam, thanks. She's not always this serious, you know? Come on, Jacqueline! No, no, it's your chance! How can you suggest I'm not serious about this expedition, Laura? It's not just Sam's family funding us. I put my savings on the line, too. We've all got some kind of stake in this. The funding won't last forever, Whitman. That's precisely why we should push east, not west. No one believes Yamatai... No one believes Yamatai is that far east. The books simply don't support it. Well, whoever wrote those books never found Yamatai. I've talked to Roth about this. There's no point in following in other people's footsteps, Dr. Whitman. I refuse to bet my reputation on your hunch. I'm the lead archaeologist here. And when were you last in the field with a TV crew behind you? Got 30 years experience, two PhDs, one in East Asian history. So why don't you just stick to boats, Mr. Grimm? Ship, Dr. Whitman. It's a ship. You don't need a PhD to know Look, that. Going east will take us directly into the Dragon's Triangle. That's where we need to go. Lara, my little bird. I'd follow you almost anywhere, but that place has a bad energy. Bad storms, more like, makes the Bermuda Triangle look like Disney World. <laughs> Sign me up. The stories about Queen Himiko say she could summon storms. Myths are usually based on some version of the truth. What if Yamatai was somewhere in the Triangle itself? Well, look, this is the satellite imagery from inside the Dragon's Triangle. That doesn't look good. If it's wet, I can sail on it. Oh, don't tell me you're seriously concerned. Reyes is right. We don't have the funds to piss about. It's now or never. Lara's offering fresh ideas and a plan. I'm the captain here. It's my decision. We're going into the Dragon's Triangle. Why am I even here? got to find something to eat. Yeah, we gotta go hunting and she never actually eats what we hunt. She just cooks it and that's about it. Oh God, what's going on here? Wait, I can use that bow. Oh yeah. We don't get infinite ammo dual pistols, we get a bow that has limited ammo. God damn it, game over. Only thing I'll say about Lara Croft is it's nice to see that she actually looks like an actual real person and not whatever the hell she looked like in the core design games. And she looks very nice in these fancy graphics. That's all I'm gonna say. Hear me comment on her Come butt. with my bare hands. Or her boobs. I can do this. You'll have to hit the jump button when this gets close enough to you. See if this thing still works. Just remember Roth's training. You can have the best form and technique in the world, but it won't mean a thing if you can't focus. The key to using any weapon is focus. I'm trying to find there's a pack of arrows over here. So hungry. I need to find something to eat. 
Yes, Lara. We know what to do. And by the way, it's Lara. L-A-R-A, -A, not Laura. I always thought it was Laura. I saw some of these video series on one of these games, and they kept calling her Laura. It's Lara. Damn it, people. It takes me a while to hunt this deer down. I don't exactly excel at manual aim. We're hunting Bambi! I actually feel kind of bad about doing this. I just remind myself that it's just a computer-generated character and not a real deer. Sorry. I normally like to think of myself as an unfailing right, back to camp. Yes, we're going back to camp. I'm going to get lost. There's going to be a cut at some point. All right, Lara. You won't always have some fancy gadget to tell you where you are. If you can learn to read the land and the stars, you'll always be able to find your way home. I think that's referencing our survival instinct thing we have. It's something we can use to look for items and key points of interest. I don't know. I could never go hunting. I'm a meat eater, but I could never actually kill an animal unless it was like actually attacking me. Here we go. Here's a the only hit collectible I find in this video. Hmm. Some kind of container. Who left these behind? There's a document in a truck. I'm gonna try to come back for it later. Hopefully by video three or four, I'll be able to put that in here. In this LP, not in this video. If I haven't already, there's going to be a cut. I'm good. Once I find the area where we picked up the bow, I'm good. Because there's a waterfall, and you just go to the left of that waterfall. That right there. But I just it took me forever to find it. Something I really miss is the Tomb Raider theme. I say I never played the Tomb Raider games before, but I've seen LPs of most of the old ones, except Angel of Darkness. And this is introducing our campsite. It saves whenever we come here. There's also where we'll upgrade and do all kinds of fancy stuff. This is Conrad Roth, captain of the Endurance. We are shipwrecked on an island inside the Dragon's Triangle. Roth? Lara. You're alive! Easy, easy. Are you okay? What happened? I remember the beach, and then it went black, and I woke up in a cave. There was this crazy man, Roth, and a dead body. Oh, God. Where are you now, Lara? Are you safe? It was so horrible. It's all my fault. This is all my fault. Lara, listen to me. I sent an SOS from the Endurance before I abandoned her. Hopefully someone caught it. I've spoken to the others. We're regrouping at my location. Please come and get me. I have to stay here. You can do this, Lara. Remember when we climbed Snowden? You said the key was knowing that all you've got to do is just keep, keep moving. moving. Remember everything I've taught you, Lara. You're ready for this. And keep your radio on. Okay. Music. I don't know if they ever explain where that music comes from. Hello? Hello? Is someone there? <sighs> it 
This could be a way through. Damn it! Girl, what are you worried about? We're not coming back here. Or if we do, we're not taking this path again. We'll be fast traveling. I was trying to see if I could do a slide down like you can do a near. Game was made by a different company. What are these markings? Possibly something we can come back and look at? I don't know. I still can't get over how good this game was. I know it's four years old, but I just can't get over it. What am I doing? I don't know, Laura. I don't know. Trying to survive. On our route to becoming a merciless killer. Oh god. This is insane. Yes it is. Pick up this rock. This traditional no mask represents a hateful woman in the guise of a demon. There are traces of white paint on the inside. Whoever used this mask was of noble birth. Hi there, Mr. Mask. Do you think Laura's pretty? I agree. Do you think she should get naked? Well, that's downright decent of you, Mr. Mask. Although I think you did shake your head yes first. Before shaking your head down. I said I wasn't going to be a perv, but I made those mask movements in case I could come up with some sort of a gag. That's the first thing I thought of. As much as I like being a perv when it comes to female characters in games, I'm not really going to do that in these. Mainly because Lara Croft has been the subject of many a male fantasy and many a sexual joke over the years already. Although, oh. technically this is a different oh. Lara. I think it's a reboot. I don't think this is actually a origin story of the original Lara Croft. I think this is actually a reboot. Yep, now we got an axe. And I had some trouble finding my way back to where we need to go. With cluttered environments, my awful vision, it's just kind of difficult for me to see where I'm going. I need some sort of a landmark. The positive side, I'm already on my second drink this video. That's good. I don't know if they're ever going to explain where that music comes from, though. I mean, it's nice, it adds to the atmosphere, but... Still. This early segment... Definitely has good atmosphere. I like it. So, anybody wanting me to do Uncharted 2, well... I'm doing this instead. In a way, kind of the same game. I mean, not really. I do really want to do Uncharted 2 as well. Definitely on my list. But I decided to do this instead because I'd rather look at Lara than Drake. Sam. Southwest side. You'll need to follow the path. It's a bit of a climb. Did you get that? Got it. We have a fire. Look for the smoke. We're on our way. Laura, you made it. Sam. Oh, um, thank goodness. Surprise. It's okay. He's one of us. Sorry if I startled you. This place would make anyone a little jumpy. We just spoke to your crew. They're on their way. Look, he bandaged my foot. 
<laughs> oh, it was the least I could do. My manners. I'm sorry, I'm Matthias. A teacher by trade. Not really cut out for island life, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sweetie, you look exhausted. Sit down. Yeah. Sam here was just telling me about the sun. Right, Himiko. Can you tell me more? I'm intrigued. Well, believe it or not, a couple thousand years ago, Queen Himiko pretty much ran things in Japan. <sighs> she loves telling this story. Himiko was beautiful, enigmatic, but also ruthless and powerful. Legend says she had shamanistic powers. And this is where she loses me. Well, there's always some truth to this. She commanded an army of samurai warriors, her magnificent storm guard. They rode the very winds into battle, laying waste to all who opposed them. They say the sun rose at Himiko's command, and she ruled everything its rays touched, from the mountains to the sea and beyond. <sighs> but what happened to her? the change in atmosphere. Although you'd think Laura's foot would be broken and unable to be used. After the next cutscene, she'll be walking on it just fine now. I think that sometimes they have her get hurt way too easily in the game when you need her to be a playable character that can move around, so you end up with unrealistic stuff like that. And I'm talking over this atmosphere, which is actually done really well. Yeah, this section with the wolves is pretty easy. The next one we'll see them in. Not so much for me, probably for other people. Oh my god. Let go. It's good to see you, little bird. I'm so glad you're here. Is Sam with you? She was with you. She was here with that man, Matthias. But I passed out. When I woke up, they were both gone. You can't shoot me, go one time off. We need to find them. No, oh, wait, wait, wait. What about Raw? Okay, let's split up. One of us go with Laura and meet up with Roth. The rest of us should fan out and look for Sam. I'll go with her. No, no, le uh, let me. You know how to use one of these? It's, it's been a while. It, it's all coming back to me. Get to Roth. We'll find Sam and this Matthias guy. <laughs> you gonna be okay? Yes, I probably just need to rest for a few minutes. Yeah. You sit, uh, you sit here. I'll, uh, <clears throat> I'll check up ahead. Okay. Ah, uh, this campfire. Not so bad. I'll be visiting a lot next video. Those guys are so dead. Well, anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. It's been a blast, and I will see y'all next time when we continue this lovely game. Hopefully I'll be drunk by then. Thank you.